Just into the KMTV Action 3 newsroom, we have confirmed that presumptive GOP candidate Donald Trump will arrive at Epley Friday afternoon for an appearance. Trump is expected to speak at the airport during a short stop here in Omaha. We'll have more details as that event approaches. Now at 5 on KMTV, Donald Trump is the last Republican left in the presidential race. Ted Cruz announced he's out last night. John Kasich dropped out about an hour ago. It appears there will be a showdown between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, but not every Republican is throwing support behind Trump. Reporter Jake Wazikowski has latest on campaign 2016. Well, Janice, clearly been a very active 24 hours. Donald Trump is the presumed Republican presidential nominee. Now, some area leaders are on board, but at least one isn't. Presidential candidate in the history of this country. Donald Trump is the presumed GOP presidential nominee after Senator Ted Cruz and Ohio Governor John Kasich drop out of the race. State leaders in Nebraska and Iowa have been connected to Trump in different ways ways that may set them up for larger roles. I think he's got a lot of energy and enthusiasm behind him. Iowa Senator Joni Ernst has been named one of five candidates to be Trump's vice presidential candidate by The Washington Post. Today, she visited the Tommy Gate hydraulic lift facility in Woodbine, Iowa. No one has reached out, so it's a, it's a hypothetical right now, but I am excited about focusing on what's important to Iowans right now. Nebraska was supposed to play its biggest role in years in the presidential primary next week. Trump has feuded with Marlene Ricketts, Governor Pete Ricketts' mother, after she donated $3 million to an anti-Trump super PAC. Today, Governor Ricketts said he'll back Trump no matter what happened in the past. Well, I went through a very competitive primary, and that's what we had here for this presidential race. And the important thing is that, again, we, we pull together afterwards. So, you know, we're going to have pick different candidates as we go through the process. Um, that's going to happen, but at the end of the day, we're going to have a nominee, and that's who we need to support. But Senator Ben Sass continues to say he will not support Trump. In a series of tweets from Tuesday, Sass called Trump fundamentally dishonest and says the path to national recovery is getting longer. On CNN Today, the editor of the Weekly Standard, Bill Kristol, called for Senator Sass to run as a third-party candidate for president. Now, a SAS spokesperson just told me, quote, no, Senator SAS has clearly addressed these rumors for months now and has three little kids, and the only callings that he wants are raising them and serving Nebraskans. Reporting live, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News. All right, Jake, here's the flip side. Republican frontrunner Donald Trump will now turn his focus to his Democratic opponent, likely Democratic opponent. There she is. Hillary Clinton says she's running on her plans for the country's future, but simply not to stop billionaire New Yorker Donald Trump. The Democrat says she's not worried about fending off the deeply personal attacks that took out his GOP rivals. A university professor says Clinton will be ready. He'll throw everything at her, but she's very good when she's under attack. By the way, Bernie Sanders won Indiana last night. Despite that, Hillary Clinton has won about 92 percent of the delegates needed to clinch the Democratic nomination. A new poll shows Clinton would be up about 13 points over Donald Trump if the race were held today. Last